Okay, if you're a real estate agent, you've figured out by now that virtual tours are becoming really popular, especially during the pandemic, but that trend is going to continue. So this is a skill set you should probably learn and uh, use it going forward. And I'm going to do a review of the Insta360 camera that I use for 360 tours and tell you how to use it with Matterport. Now, um, if you are an agent that's taking pictures with your cell phone of listings, then uh, go back to YouTube and start looking at how to get free leads again because um, you're too cheap to use this. So um, it costs about $399. And if you're just a cell phone camera guy for listings, you're not doing your clients any favors, you certainly won't gravitate to this. So that's my little rant. Anyway, what is um, Insta360 and why am I showing you this when it comes to Matterport? Because many of you may know that Matterport has a camera that's about the size of a purse and it, it weighs a ton and it used to run about $4,500. I think you can pick them up for about $3,200 now. The quality is amazing. It's great, but it's really heavy and you have to have a tripod that's about the size of most scaffolding that you see in major construction projects. And in other words, it's heavy. So it's gotta be a, you've gotta have a big metal carrying case for this camera and a huge sturdy tripod. And so that was the only option of getting um, 3D tours for your, your listings. And they were expensive. They ran about 200 bucks to have that done. Well, Matterport decided to open up their software to other 360 cameras such as the Lumix and the Insta360 and it's fabulous and they also did it for your cell phones but that's really clunky because you gotta take a picture turn take a picture turn you'll get tired of that real quick so um, let me start right out of the box on this thing so this is the Insta360 they're a little hard to get right now because uh, realtors are scooping them up like crazy and you can see it's got two lenses, one on the front, one on the back, and uh, they're very sensitive. So it's gonna come with this carrying case and treat this and put it inside and treat it like one of your children or maybe one of my children because they're nice kids. Um, so you don't wanna drop this. You don't wanna set it on a table, you know, set it down on top of the, the cover. You get the idea, protect these lenses for everything that's sacred. So it's, uh, it's pretty slick, pretty easy. It's just got an on button here and a menu. So you can YouTube um, how to use your Insta360. When you get this, you're gonna get Insta360 software for your cell phone. And you don't need that to use it with Matterport. Now, I'm gonna tell you some of the early mistakes I made. First thing I'm gonna start with is the software. I thought, that you had to connect this to the Insta360 software via Wi-Fi before you connect it to the Matterport software. So you're gonna wanna download the Matterport software on your phone, and that's all you need. Because when I did them both, they conflicted and I couldn't get anything done. It would it'd start, scan, it'd stop, it was, it was maddening. So you don't need the other one. And the way it works is you're going to take this and all you're going to do is turn it on. And you're going to get a tripod that's like this. This is a small one where the, the legs come out. And the camera is designed when it looks down, you don't see the legs. You just see like a fuzzy spot. And this, this is really light and it expands. And it's terrific. And then you just screw the camera to the top like so. Okay. So... Once you have this set up and you get into the house, and I'm gonna show you a little map here in just a second, um, you're gonna place it in different spots in the house. So you turn on your, your cell phone, you turn this on, and it gives a Wi-Fi signal. And you'll see it's called like MAT360. So you connect to that Wi-Fi signal. Once you're connected to that, you can go into Matterport and you can start a project. So you can click on the plus button and it'll start what's called spaces. And the interesting thing is, is when, you're, when you hit spaces, it geolocates you and it'll say, is this 123 Cloud Street? You go, huh, yes, boink. It puts the address of the home in there. It's just fabulous. So you put it in the door entry. So you want to think of walking through the house. 
So when you walk through the house, you're going to put it there and you're going to take a scan. There's two settings on the phone. One is 360 and one is 3D. You're going to want to use 3D. You'll see it at the very bottom of Matterport. Now, before I forget, you're going to need a micro SD card that goes in here and format it. If you don't format it, then it's, it's just not going to pick up anything. And so you need to format the card. There's instructions on how to do that within the uh, guide that you get with this. The other thing I recommend is buying two spare batteries too, because if you're in somebody's house and it's taking you longer than 45 minutes, this thing will drain. And there's, you know, you don't want to be in somebody's house and sitting having coffee with them while you're, you know, your battery's charging. So, so bring a couple spare batteries with you because you can be halfway through a scan, turn this thing off. Don't worry, it's saving everything here and in the cloud. So you could, you know, start a scan today and finish a scan tomorrow and you'd be fine. So if your battery does go kaput, you put another one in, don't worry, you didn't lose your work. So back to how to do this. So you come in the first, first place, you walk in the front door, you put it down, that's spot number one. You go and get out of camera range and look around too because my face was in a mirror. And, uh, and then you take the scan, you hit it, and you'll hear this camera go beep, which means it got it. And then you'll see it saving and converting it. Then you move it to another spot. And let me show you what that tour looks like here. So as you can see, you've got these white circles on the floor, and that's where your tripod was. So each one of those circles represent where you place the camera. So you want to place them to where it's, it's line of sight, so you can walk from one to another. If you put a circle in one spot and then you put the other circle too far, the camera will tell you you're out of range, go back. In other words, they're not connecting. So it, you'll have to bring that tripod back closer to the last circle that you just took. So you're gonna wanna do a walkthrough through the whole house and make sure that you're not having any of those gaps. So once you get that done, um, then it's gonna ask you to outline the windows. So you're gonna find a little icon off to the right-hand side, you're gonna tap that, and then you're gonna drag it over to the window, and it's got a little, with your thumb, it's kinda awkward. It's better on an iPad. So if you got an iPad, it's great, but I just use my phone. And you, you drag this thing and, and the arrow's pointing, it says inside. So this is the outside, the window, this is the inside of the house. You drag it there and then you make it the length of the window. That tells the camera, this is a window. Don't try to capture everything inside. You can still see it, but it measures. Because one of the nice things about this is when you're done photographing the house, somebody can actually tour through and they go, I wonder how big that room is. They can click the measure tool and it will tell them. So you don't want to miss any spots. So it gets kind of awkward, like if you go into a bathroom, because you want to be able to place this somewhere where you don't see it in the mirrors. And in one house I did, I was able to do the bathroom, but then you know how the toilet goes off to the side there? Not that I want to get a picture of the toilet, but if you don't, you don't get an accurate, an accurate uh, floor plan of the house. So I put it over by the potty and I could see the stick was in the mirror, but it was in a, uh, by a medicine cabinet. So I just opened the medicine cabinet to where you couldn't see the stick. So I was proud of that move. So, um, so it's important that you get every little angle. Um, you don't go outside with these. You can go outside and do 360 photos, um, but I just don't see a spot on the MLS. Maybe I'm wrong. You can probably have 360 photos and virtual tour. Go ahead and research that. But uh, um, it's really a great addition. Then you have a link. You have a branded tour, and then you have an unbranded tour. So when you're done taking all the photos, I jumped ahead, you're going to get a, a map that looks like this. See all these spots, all these dots, they're all numbered. It tells you number one, number two, number three. And you can go through and you can look at them. You can eliminate some if you want. And then you hit that upload button on the right-hand side. It uploads it to Matterport, and that's when they work their magic. So they do all of the converting for you. And it may take an hour, an hour and a half, maybe even longer, depending on the house. Then they send you an email, and the email says, congratulations, your, uh, your tour is now ready. Now you have a link. You take the unbranded link, and you use that on the MLS. The branded one, you can use wherever you want. You can use it on your website. You can, use it, uh, you can email it to people. 
Uh, but your link is the link to the Matterport tour. Now, Matterport costs $9.95 a month to host your spaces. So a house is a space. And here's where Matterport's kind of unpopular, and I hope they change it soon. For $9.95, I can have five spaces. So you can only have five houses up at a time. So if you got a listing and, and then, you know, it sells, you can delete that space. Nobody keeps them permanently. And so if you don't think you're ever going to go over five, then, you know, leave it at $9.95. But unfortunately, the next tier up is $69 a month. So they don't give you any small little increments. It's $9.95 or $69. And then it gets worse, $3.99 a month. Three nine ninety a month. You got to be a professional. You're going to be doing a lot of Matterport stuff. So, so I think the nine ninety five is okay if you're just getting started out and you're probably not don't have more than five listings at a time. That's probably the way to go. So, um, most of the watchouts on this thing is when you're outside or if you're be careful because you need to put some weights down on the bottom of the tripod. You don't want the wind blowing this thing over on the sidewalk. You're going to lose your camera. So be very, very careful when you're outside and be very careful when you're inside too because this is a lightweight little tripod. You don't want to set it down and trip over it and knock this thing down because if you damage this glass or scratch it at all, you've ruined the camera. So um, for the dollar amount, the quality of the Insta360 versus the Matterport, um, it's very, very unnoticeable. The Matterport are great images. These are... I would say Matterport are excellent images, and these are great images. I'm going to put a link up here that shows you one that I did, and I thought the tour came out great. And if you look careful, you'll see me in the bathroom mirror. So anyway, that's my review on the Insta360 for what it's worth. I think for the price, it's great, and the Lumix is really good. There are other software companies like Cloud Plano, Cloud Pano cloudpano.com is what it is and you can upload 360 photos but i found that kind of cumbersome because you upload the photos then you have to put in your entry points you got to label them you got to stitch them it's like i don't have time for that so i put it in matterport matterport cooks i'm a techie guy too so i put it up matterport i let matterport take it and run with it i get it back it's perfect it gives me that dollhouse view that everybody loves my work is done it takes me about 45 minutes to do the house and i love it and your clients will like it too. Hey, shoot me some comments down below and tell me if you've even tried it yet. See ya.